Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have a quick Country Craft Creations design team project. This is using up my scraps. You know I love to use up scraps mainly because I hate putting them away but I'm so frugal with the paper. I always have still a ton left over. But um, I just wanted to show you this is just going to be a quick little uh, card folio just to share with you. Um, I did a different size than I normally do than like my 6x6, six six. Um, but it was using the scraps from this project, which I will link below, but just so you can kind of see, um, I still use gold throughout, but I use different colors to brighten it up. So you can make any collection look different with just matting, with the cardstock that you use as the base. But again, if you did not see the other tutorial, um, or project share I use country craft creations exclusive forever friends and this is the 12 by 12 and I did use mostly the 8 by 8 little tidbits for this but um, there are some 12 by 12 components on here and I still have a ton left over to use and play but I just thought it'd be cute to make a quick little because there was a lot of the kitty cat elements where this book I featured um, all the dogs so just wanted to make a little um, card folio and then I will show you at the end just the measurements. But again, this is just, it's a quick tutorial. Stay along for the ride if you want. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and get into the show and tell first. And then hopefully, I don't know, we'll see if I have some projects this weekend. It's Memorial Weekend coming up. I have been so crazy busy with work, not even traveling, but just busy for some strange reason. But here is the cover, and I did use one of the little cut-aparts, um, and I layered it onto black, and then, um, what is this? I think it's Pimento, my color cardstock from Country Craft Creations, and I will link that below. And then I popped it up on some scrap chipboard that I had. This is one of the cut-aparts, and I think this is from the 8x8 cut-apart and the the die cuts um, and I did layer it on black and then pop that up as well just had some enamel dots in my stash just so you guys can get a little close up don't look at my nails they're busted I know yes I have to get them done <laughs> but at least it's a French and you can't see it unless you look really close like I just had my nails um, but here <laughs> I just added a doily below some um, leaf dies from my stash, flowers from my stash, a little bit of ribbon here. I'm just trying to see, yeah, I don't think, nope, I didn't put any um, thread on here, but I did mat it with that um, salmon colored pimento paper, my colored cardstock, and then a gold foil, and then it's with black artisan is the base. And because it's not chipboard, I like black artisan because it's a little more than, I don't know, I think it's like 80. 85 pounds, but it's it's heavier weight than 65. I know that and it's not as thick as a hundred pound cardstock So it works very nicely and then when you layer like me, it's all sturdy anyways <laughs> Just this little thing is heavy and it's just really little so um, It does have a quarter inch gusset on one side and then one eighth of an inch gusset on the other Oh, I think I was gonna put like a little cut apart or something back here. I must have forgot um, but that is the back. I just thought it was pretty to highlight kind of the turquoise and salmon color that's in the collection versus what I was, you know, highlighting before, which was just, um, like the darker shades, but it's still highlighting the turquoise and teals, which I love. They're my favorite. So this is just one piece of paper, um, from an eight, eight and a half by 11, but of course I just started scoring and whatever was left, I, I didn't cut it. I just left it as a little flap. And then I added this little flap here that I do have a magnetic closure in. And this is one of the die cuts. I think this is not die cuts, but it's from one of the 12 by 12 sheets that has a whole bunch of frames on it. And I did put it on black cardstock and I did fussy cut it, but I just wanna show you in case you have the collection and you're trying to figure out where I got this. Because on that paper, some of the frames are cut off. I just made, I think it was this side that was already cut like this. So I just made this side to look like it. Because I'm not wasting that. I'm using it. 
So that's what I did there. And then I just stuck that on there because I just thought it was cute. And then just again, having some of the gold, you know, leafing going throughout. Here's another little um, die cut here. I just put one photo mat in here. This could be a great pocket for a gift card if you wanted to do that. And then this could be the sentiment or you can add photos and then it opens up to this. I just, I love this. So I of course would never put a photo on that <laughs> because it's so cute, just so sweet. So that's what that looks like. And I did ink my edges with black, just to ink from my stash. And that's, that's it. That's literally it. So, um, yeah, let me just show you guys real quick. The reason why I'm a little bit behind is because the, the little bit of free time that I've had, I've been trying to finish up, um, the projects from the retreat. Cause I have never done that. Of all the retreats that I've gotten, I've never finished, well, let's be clear, I think I might have finished like two out of one or two of the 5,000 retreats. Um, but this time, I'm really close to finishing all. I have one more large one to do. I will never finish the little ones because with Country Craft Creations now, the retreats, um, Tanya adds on projects, Tamara sometimes adds on. Sally sometimes adds on. There's so many, so many added on projects that aren't part of the main thing. But like Tanya will take the scraps and do layouts. Um, she did little folios. She did a tag flip album. So there literally is so many projects. Like it's worth it to do a Country Craft Creations retreat. So just saying. Um, okay, so this is what you're going to need. To make this little thing if you want to make it like I said it's really cute I like the size you know usually I do six by six but I just I don't know I thought it was fun to change it up and try a different size but you can add you guys know you can level up you can add more to it again I just was using the scraps that I had left and that's what dictated what my project was that is how my brain works so um, you just need one piece that is six by 11. And then we're gonna come in and let me get my little scoreboard. It's not little, but even though I have a thousand that are little and should be able to show you no problem. Um, okay, so with the 11 across the top, you are gonna score at four and a half, four and three quarters to get that gusset. Come over here at the nine and a quarter score and then a little baby gusset at um, nine and five, no, nine and three eighths. I have it written down. I'm not even reading what I wrote. Now, I know that some people it's hard to have the little one eighth inch gusset. You don't have to. Make it a quarter inch if you want to and just do um, score at nine and a quarter and nine and a half. Do what works for you. Like, don't worry about what is in there. Like, just kind of look at the project. Make sure it all folds up the way it's supposed to. But you can do it however you want to. And then for the little um, photo flap that I have with the magnetic closure, you just need one piece that is four and a quarter by six and a half. And then with the six and a half going across your scoreboard, you're going to come in and score at three and a quarter. That's it. That's it. There you go. And it's fun to just make, like, these are great. I You know you have these on your table, like just scraps. Like just take your scraps, cut them up, build this, and then you'll have it for when you actually have scraps from your, um, you know, your pattern paper. And you could just slap it on there really quick. But this is a great way to use up your solid cardstock scraps. Just get a couple, like, bases that you like for cards, card folios, and then go through your solids and make it all up. Y'all gotta use it. Okay, so we're just folding everything on the score line. So fold this one first. Try to make it even, might have not cut even. Okay, that's even, so I'll trim off. There we go. Then the next one, 
which is on four and three quarter line. Just kind of work it. And then we're going to come in, we're going to do this one, try to get on that outside line first. So this just works for me, just a tip tip. You don't have to use it most of the time. Sometimes I just go crazy and forget. But when I say the outside line, I do the line that is facing the first line from like the edge basically. I fold first, then I fold it again. Sometimes it'll work with the one eighth of an inch. Sometimes it won't. You just gotta kind of get it going. I just find this easier though versus folding on this inside one first. I don't know why, but I just find it easier. So you just kind of get it in there. I got it settled. I think we have it, but I'll also show you another trick which I learned from someone at one of the retreats. It was a one of the customers at the retreats, they use their little spacer. And you can get these from Country Craft Creations too, but as you can see, maybe you can, it's like one eighth of an inch. So you can nestle that in there and then fold it over just to shape it. So can you guys see that? I mean, I've already folded it, so. But I have done that and it does work. So if you struggle with these little one eighth of an inch, these spacers are great for that. So just a, another little tip tip for you that came from somebody else's tip. Okay, so this is the front. All I did was glue this to here. Can you see, I'm sorry, the sun is shining in here. I'm trying to keep it out, but it's coming through the blinds. So you could just glue a U on here. Now you wanna put your decorative paper down first. I don't mind, cause I could pull it up. I'll show you guys just a little bit with the glue. But you could do a U and then when you flip it this way, you'll have a little tuck spot. Or you can just, again, like kind of mark where you want the glue to be so that's my edge so I'll know just going around and you could literally go like this if you wanted to if that's easier to make sure you don't glue beyond that so we'll just put a little glue and then we eyeball it and we're good to go maybe there we go I'm just gonna do just a little bead. I'm gonna do the U and then I'll just pull this up if I wanna use this again. Usually I have my repositional tape, um, but I need to get some more. So eyeball just means I'm, I'm just, I'm not making it perfect. I can already see this is, this is higher up, but that's fine. I don't care, it'll be beautiful. And then you have that on there, but you could take like two of these, glue them together, make a cute little fold out. Again, just great ways to use up your scraps, both of solid cardstock as well as the pattern paper. But got this little cutie out of making this baby and just wanted to share it with you guys. But there you go. Let me know what you guys think. I know I'm behind on comments. I know I will get to them this weekend. I promise. I promise. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. And if you did like this uh, video, um, Country Craft Creations, like Project Share, as well as a quick little tutorial, please give your girl a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so and click that bell so you can get notifications when I post new design team projects from Country Craft Creations. Thanks for watching. Bye.